Hey, what's going on, guys? We need to remember the Americans that fought in Omaha and Utah Beach on uh, June 6, 1944. Okay, Omaha Beach was the bloodiest beach on uh, D-Day, and we need to give the Americans credit for that. The operation was a multinational operation. There were 60 Australians there. There were Canadians there. There were um, British soldiers there. There were the Free French Resistance there, but it was an American-led operation. It was led largely by General Dwight D. Eisenhower on Operation Neptune. That's what it was called. And while we need to recognize what the British and the Canadian, the Australian, and the Free French soldiers did, and we don't need to forget them, we, uh, and we don't need to take them for granted either. We, but we also need to remember the Americans. The Americans deserve the credit for this, and just because they're a superpower doesn't need to, doesn't mean they need to be written off um, temporarily or permanently because their contributions at D-Day were very very vital. Okay, and so we need to remember the Americans that bled at Omaha and Utah Beach, African American and Caucasian. Caucasian soldiers did amazing things as well as the African American soldiers. So if everybody's doing well, take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.